This is the snake game. And this is a Lego robot playing it. In this video, I'm gonna make a Lego build that can beat the snake game all by itself. Let's do this. Okay, so my Lego robot needs to be able to press down these keys so that it can control the snake game. Space also starts the game so I can make something that presses space. And the only issue is I only have three motors to build this with and there is five buttons I need to press. So my idea is to use something like this and put rubber pieces on both ends. And then this can just swivel back and forth on one motor axis like this. So this could press the left arrow key and swivel the other way, it'll press the right. These two never need to be pressed at the same time. So this would work really well. And then something along the same lines for these up and down arrows too. And then I can use one just for the space bar too. So yeah, let's start building. Well guys, I got this put together, which makes it so this one can wobble back and forth, right? But the issue I'm running into is that this one right here, if I move it, it presses the down. I want it to go all the way around and then press the front arrow too, but it just doesn't work. It hits shift, which is an issue. Uh, this way I could make it go straight, but it's not very reliable as you can see, and it's bending the piece. So I need to find a way for it to spin these two at the same time as spinning these. It's really hard. I actually have a fire idea. If I do the same sort of thing I did here with a little cutout, but I do it the other way around for this side. Okay, I just made this. See, it's a, wait, will that even work? Yeah, I literally put this together, right? I thought it'd work because the cutout thing, uh, but it, it's literally gonna spin with it. I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, I need to figure this out somehow. I have no idea how to make it click those two arrow keys at the same time as these ones. It's really hard, but I'll hopefully figure it out. Okay, I think I've finally figured it out. So over here on this, I made this motor one above this motor so then I can put the axle above these, which I didn't think of before. And now this one rotates and then this other one can also rotate. And then those can just set down right here. And then if I zoom out a little bit, those arrows will turn blue when I, they're being pressed. So if I go this way, bottom's being pressed, top's being pressed. Bottom, top. It's a little unreliable there, as you saw probably. That's because this wobbles a little bit and I need to make it secured on the other side. So I'll make it secured and it'll probably work. So I need to work on that and then also make something for the face bar. Well guys, the space bar was actually really easy to make. As you can see, it's just literally that piece slapped on the side of the motor and that just goes down and touches the space bar. Really simple. So that was nice. Um, and then this, I just, to make this bar attach to this side, I just put a little, couple little things there and the bar goes all the way. And those all line up right here. So now all I need to do is make clamps for the bottoms of these. And then we can probably get into coding. So yeah, let's build those clamps. Okay, so I made two clamps. There's one right here and one right here. And uh, they just slide on really. They don't do too much and they just go underneath like that. The reason they slid in so easy is because they have other bricks underneath. But as you can see, if I line both those up in the corners, the everything goes exactly where it's supposed to go. So that's all I need really. It is a little loose over here, which I don't think will affect anything just as long as it's tight above. I mean, that doesn't look tight, but it is. It, it's tight enough, hopefully. And it needs to press stuff and not flex up. So that's why I have these. Should work, so now I got a code. Well guys, I got an issue. So if I run the code right now, you can actually watch that things move over here. Both the side ones work, but then the top one just isn't working. It doesn't hit it. 
Yeah, I don't know what to do. Kind of an issue. Well, guys, I made this monstrosity. It's really tall. You're probably so confused what it is. It sets on here, and as you can see right there, there are two Technic beams. I'll just lift it up here and show you. These are what hit the buttons, and as I spin this motor, you can see that they take turns going back and forth, and hopefully this works. It seems like it should, so I gotta code it, and hopefully it works. It should, right? Okay, guys, it wasn't working, but I got a plate thing set up here, so it's like the perfect height, and I put weight on it. It's it's a whole jerry-rigged setup. Right here though, I coded everything and it should work. So I'm testing it for the first time with you guys. If this goes in like a spiral, I did it correctly. Please. It worked. I don't know how reliable it is, but it worked. I'll show you what with all the contraptions moving. Let me know how much you can see really. Just all that was this much code. So I gotta code the entire snake game over and over again. That's gonna be some repetitive code. Well guys, the software just crashed, which means my entire project that I've been working on so far, all that code just got deleted. <sighs> So I have to redo it. Good thing I wasn't very far, but I still had all those measurements and stuff, which sucks. So yeah, I have to redo that. Well guys, it's the next day now and I completely rebuilt the code basically. I actually have more code than what it was before it crashed, so that's good. There's one issue and I'm gonna show you guys it. Everything works basically. That's the issue right there. As you saw, like it's worked flawlessly almost, but when the snake was going this way, he couldn't go one over and up. It took long enough to go three over and up. And I don't know how to fix that because in this code, like I, it's no delay or anything. I can't like minimize the delay. Like there's no negative delay that I know of at least. But see, the game has a slow mode and I activated that even right here with the turtle. The motors are too slow or something. I don't know what to do. I'll hopefully figure it out. Yes, guys, I got it to work. So what I did is I made this motor move slightly before this one, but not enough to press those up and down arrows down there. It's going down here and as it's going down here, that motor rotates, but it doesn't press the button. So it just keeps going and then it turns left. The rest of the motor goes and it goes back up quickly. So hopefully that made sense. Let's hope it works again. What the? <laughs> I have no idea why it turned left, but everything else worked. What? How does it do that? How does it just get slower? I don't know. I'll f figure it out. Well, after four days of coding, I think I finally got it to work. I thought I was gonna get the coding done in like an hour or two, but it ended up being a lot longer. Let me show you this working. Well guys, odds are this won't work the first try because it's really random when it works and when it doesn't, but let's try it. Okay, so far so good. Oh, look, it already failed, see? It went too quick. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. Okay, so as you saw, it didn't work that first time. I have to like adjust everything like perfectly for it to work. This is why it took forever to code, I'm guessing. And no guarantees it will even work today. So hopefully it does, but it might not. I know it worked multiple times for me though in testing and it didn't work again. Oh my. What, bro? I actually put a wheel down here and a wheel over here on this side of the motor just so I can easily adjust it because I have to adjust it after every run. There we go. <sighs> if the next one of the snake going around fails, I'll just recode the entire thing for it to hopefully work again. This is how much of a pain it is to code. Like, man, but I'm doing it for you guys. Okay, here we go. Oh, dang it. Honestly, though, not bad. Okay, almost did it. Well, hopefully in this next clip, I'll have it working again. It's only a couple minutes later and it got it working over there, but bringing it over here might've shifted something. So I'm hoping it will still work. But yeah, I had to shift the code a little bit and then it seemed to work. So let's try it. I'm hoping. Okay, come on. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Might do it. Come on. Oh my bro, it's so close. No. Well, that one failed, so just keep trying until we get it, hopefully.
Okay, looking good, looking good. Let's go. Yes, yes. Come on, please, please, please. Okay, now it repeats, and this one usually doesn't work. Yep. Like, what just happened? Okay, we did it, boys. So I don't know why the snake went to the left on this second round because this is the code and as you can see this is a very beginning but then it gets into this part that loops and this is the entire thing that I had to do piece by piece. It's really long and this is what makes him go for forever. But for some reason when it repeats on the second time it doesn't work right. It, the motors might be shifted differently or something but yeah it just never works on the second try. So I have all the code done and stuff. It just doesn't want to work so I don't know if we'll really beat the snake game but it plays the snake game. And it already spent four days on coding, so I think this is probably good enough. I did all this, come on. On that last round that actually worked, I got four apples, and the record I got was five during all that testing. So I mean, still pretty good, I'd say, but winning is like 80 something, so still not to that point. But I'd say getting the snake to clear every block was a win. Well guys, if you want me to make another thing like this that can play a game, except make it not as precise, so it's actually easier coding and doesn't take four days, let me know in the comments, because I might use your idea. And if you want to see other videos like this, I'll have a link up here in the corner and down in the description. But as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. Well guys, I just filmed the outro and it wasn't recording the audio correctly. So I have to redo everything. I don't even remember what I said, but good thing I am getting a new camera and the problem will be solved. Okay, whatever. See, so yeah, I, oh my. Bro, it's so noisy downstairs. Like I could have got the last clip done and it would have such a pain. Like cutting board, more cutting board cup, cutting board, hawking. Bro, it's hard to show.